Hello children, how is everybody doing? I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. I've missed you all so much and it's good to see you all today. So, today I'm going to read you a story about a bullfrog who wants to be the best at something. So, are you ready? Let's begin. The Best Little Bullfrog in the Forest by Ian Weibrow and illustrated by Natalie Smilly. In the damp leaves on the floor of the forest, a little brown bullfrog sat with his mother. They were watching a talent contest. Can I be in it? He asked. You're too little and too ugly, called Crested Cockatoo from up in a tree. You have lumpy brown skin, not like my beautiful feathers. I'm going to win the talent contest. Don't listen, said his mother. He's showing off. You have lovely skin. Come on, let's go and find somewhere cool. As they hopped through the forest, a green parrot with a big red beak flew past and sat on a branch. Look at that, said the little bullfrog. I wish I could fly. I am the best at flying, cried great billed parrot. My green and blue feathers are beautiful and my big bill is strong. I'm going to win the talent contest. I wish I was best at something, said the little bullfrog with a sigh. Don't be upset, croaked his mother. Let's find somewhere cool. They had not gone far when they found some doves singing. Can I join in? asked the little bullfrog. I can sing, the little bullfrog croaked a song. What a horrible noise, cooed a zebra dove up in the branches. Listen to me, now that is a sweet song. Listen to my song, called Spotted Dove. It is much sweeter. I am going to win the talent contest. And off they flew. The little bullfrog was very upset. It's true, he said. My song sounds like a buff. You have a lovely voice, said his mother. Come along, let's go and catch some flies at the pool. They had a swim and ate some bugs. Just then, white-lipped pit viper came slithering towards them. Look out, croaked mother. Dive! Quick as a flash, they swam to the bottom of the pool. They were safe. I missed them. Where did they go? I can't believe it. I am the fastest snake in the forest. He hissed to himself. Suddenly, there was an even louder hiss from a much bigger snake. It was a spitting cobra. You are not the fastest, he hissed. I can slither faster than you any day. Watch me. Ready, steady, go. And with that, they slithered away. The little bo brown bullfrog popped up in the water. Wow, he gasped. They are nasty. Civet Cat was sleeping under a bush. All the noise woke her up. Not as nasty as this, she said and let out a very nasty smell. I can scare off lots of animals with my smell. That is disgusting, said the little bullfrog. I wish I could make smells like that. Just then the ground shook and with a hiss louder than any snake, Komodo dragon charged towards them. I'll show you disgusting, he roared. His smell was worse than civet cats. Komodo dragon flicked his tongue and with a swish of his mighty tail, he bashed civet cat into the air. Then he opened his horrible jaws and gobbled her up.
Oh no, said the little bullfrog. I'm not best at anything. I can't fly like parrot and cockatoo. I can't sing like the doves. I am not fast like the snakes. I don't stink like civet cat. I'm not disgusting like Komodo dragon. Tell me one thing that I'm the best at. Well, you escaped from the snakes. Civet cat and Komodo dragon, said his mother. You are the best at not getting eaten. You are just the right color to hide from your enemies in the leaf litter. You are the best at hiding. You can swim and dive underwater. You are the best at saving your skin. Hey, that's true, said the little bullfrog. And when you sing, I know exactly who you are and where you are. You are the best little bullfrog in the forest. Suddenly the little bullfrog felt very special. The End So children, did you like the story? Now I want you to think of your best qualities. I'm sure there are many. Now choose one and write a paragraph in your exercise book about how you used that best quality of yours that best quality trait in making others happy. When you finish writing, reread and correct your mistakes to avoid errors. Children, until we see each other again, keep reading and keep writing. Take care. Goodbye.